back to the channel guys in this video i will be talking about a recent certificate exam that i took and passed and just going to offer some of the tips uh, some of the things that helped me in uh, passing the exam in first attempt uh, so yeah the the cert i'm going to talk about is az140 uh, it's the azure virtual desktop speciality basically the vdi solution offered by microsoft in the cloud space um, and yeah we're gonna go over some tips who is this meant for uh, what you what was my schedule like like how did I study so maybe you can try that method uh, if see if that works how long did it take uh, take me to prepare and pass the exam and what what are the benefits so you know we're spending time in it uh, we we need some some benefits so yeah we'll also go over what what are the benefits uh and it's going to be an overview kind i'm not going to get go in depth in any any of these just just gonna touch the surface all right so tips uh definitely check out microsoft's doc and their uh you know go through the study guide go through the overview uh, go to the Microsoft the official page. Uh, it is an intermediate level exam. Uh, yeah, go through the overview. Like, hey, this this is what you're gonna be asked about. This is what you're gonna learn about, right? And uh, what are the skills that are measured? So you, you need to take a look at that. And after that, uh, once you have the sense, uh, you need to. I won't say need to, but it will be really beneficial if you go through all these. Uh, all these uh, you know courses that that are text based. Obviously, there are videos, but those are boring as hell. I, I never go through them. But the these uh, definitely read through these. Uh, just open them up and you know start from the introduction and go through the introduction prerequisites and just keep go keep on completing the module. Uh, that would be what I would say. Try to do first. Uh, you know, go to the source. This is where everything is. This is the documentation. Uh, moving on to the next one would be work uh, on side. Pro if you're already working in IT and you're already dealing with setting up a virtual machine on Azure or setting up storage accounts, or if you are an uh, administrator on uh, the Azure, you already have a lot of these skills a lot of the experience so virtualization networking creating vnets uh, etc identity uh, so this talks about the azure entra portal which used to be called azure ad but now it's entra ad uh, storage resiliency so the backup so yeah anyone who's already working in it uh, they that already in itself is help uh, but if you're working in a project, you can definitely gain more knowledge and experience, which will aid towards passing the AZ140. Um, now, if you like doing labs, if you really want to work on the Azure virtual desktop uh, projects or, you know, job, you, you need to do labs, uh, which thankfully there is one on GitHub. I'm not sure if it's free. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is free because of the MIT license. Uh, so yeah, just I, that's what I did. I just downloaded it on my computer and went through all the instruction, the labs. Uh, there, are, I think there is two versions of labs. Uh, one is with the uh, the Azure AD, and then another one is when you set up a VM, like a domain controller VM, on the Azure. So that would be hybrid, and then another one is the paid service. So yeah, just go through them. I'm not gonna go through it. It's like I'm just uh, yeah. These are this. This is what I was talking about. So there is one with ADDS, which is Active Directory Domain Service, and the another one is Azure ADDS. So this is the paid service. It's basically the on-prem Active Directory, but the but the that is being offered as a service by Microsoft. But this one is where you just simply set up a VM on the Azure in the same v VNet as your other VMs or uh, client VMs. 
so yeah, just moving the on-prem Active Directory to a, to Azure by just setting it up as a VM on Azure. So yeah, really gonna be helpful in 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 exam and in the future in the actual work environment. Uh, so would definitely recommend doing this too. Uh, and then you you gotta have a cert provider. Uh, so these could be training modules from. Uh, what I used was Cloud Academy. So this is also like a, a cert training provider, you know. Uh, there are others. I don't have the subscription anymore because I canceled because uh, I'm taking a break. But you can, I, I remember CBT Nuggets uh, is the one. And uh, yeah, so they are also pretty good. And of course, there is Udemy that you can check out. Uh, the AZ140 course is on. Uh, also, if you have more time or if you don't want to pay for the third provider, there are free courses made by uh, very generous folks on YouTube, which is all, all for free. So I went to my YouTube and I just typed AZ140 and you see there are so many playlists on this exam preparation. So definitely check that out too. Um, so that covers the tips and now who is this meant for i would say anyone who is tier 2 desktop server technician tier 3 sys admins uh people who are in projects uh devops devops have its has its own cert but to automate certain things it's definitely helpful if you do the one uh, az140 because it does one of the module is on azure automation so this is definitely going to be helpful for DevOps folks. Uh, CT, basically anyone who is working in cloud uh, or a cloud technician, basically. Uh, what was the study schedule like? So for, for me, I would study an hour to hour and a half, maximum two hours someday, and usually four to five days in a week. So I would have to study after, after work. Uh, which which sucked, but you know you, you, that's that's you just have to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, that's what my my schedule was like. Um, so yeah, just see if you, it works for you. How long did it take me to prepare and pass? So it took me all about one month. Uh, so bef when I made my mind that I want to do it, and then when I passed it, it was all in one month. Uh, provided that I have been working uh, with some of the Azure projects. So it was kind of easy for me. Someone who is transitioning uh, from the traditional on-prem uh, infrastructure, uh, Microsoft infrastructure, to complete Azure uh, or the Azure VDI, uh, you might want to take more time. So instead of one month, uh, you should go for two months or three months. Uh, or just see, you know, whenever you feel confident, just, just go for the exam. Uh, lastly, the benefits. So for me, it was to widen my horizon in IT. So basically, I, I started from the on-prem environment. So on-prem Active Directory, on-prem VMs, Hyper-V, virtual uh, machines, things like that. And... I just was seeing this trend where more and more people were moving towards Azure uh, VDI solution, like just moving everything over to the Azure VDI. And I wanted to just see how it is, how hybrid works, how on-prem and cloud works, how cloud only works. So I just wanted to just get more, you know, just get a bigger picture how things are. So that's what, uh, I mean by widen your horizon in IT and it is interesting work too it is very interesting if you like working in cloud uh, any sort of cloud uh, AWS GCP or Azure it is definitely really interesting the things you come across uh, and learn and how really things are like how simple things are when it comes to uh, working with cloud it's not really that complex. It's it's very easy. Uh, not not gonna say it's, it's pretty simple if you once you learn about it and if you find it interesting. 
so yeah that's how uh, that's just uh, how i prepared and passed my exam and those are the tips thanks for watching